Hey everyone, what's happening? Lex back today for another update video here in Brawl Stars. So let's go over all the patch notes and I'm going to show you every change that is coming here in Brawl Stars in this update just right after the update. Now this isn't a massive update. It's a it's actually some really good nice quality of life features, a couple of which you can see right on the screen right now and we'll get to that. But Along with this comes a full list of balance changes as well. So we've got bug fixes, quality of life additions, and uh, even some balance changes and some different star power. So let's get into all that right now. Now let's first talk about tickets. Now. Here in the dev build, as you can see, I've got 5,093 tickets. It's pretty believable. Um, and tickets will never expire, which is pretty cool. Uh, before, some people were caught off guard and their tickets expired, which really sucks. And so now they're never going to expire. So if you'd rather play Robo Rumble instead of a boss fight or vice versa, well, then you can save your tickets for that event and you can really maximize the return for your coins on those. Um, while we're speaking about tickets, let's move right over here to the shop real quick because as you can see, you can now purchase tickets. That's awesome. So if you were upset about the boosters going away, which I am a, too a little bit, that's a little bit unfortunate. However, um, you can buy some tickets and you have your boosters active that you get from those boxes. You can just make a crap ton of coins and that will really help speed your progression up. So 60 tickets for 80 gems. That is a really good deal and it'd be a great source for you guys to collect a ton of coins. And if you wanted to spend some money, if you wanted to buy some gems, well, then this is your chance really to get a really good return for those gems. Now, of course, the tickets will still drop from the boxes at the same exact drop rate they were before. They don't, they're not super abundant, but they're there and you're going to be able to get enough of them at least to, you know, be able to play the, the mode quite a few times and, you know, have some fun in that. The last note about tickets here is that you can bet more than just one, five, 10, and 20. Now they've changed it. One, two, three, four, five, 10, 15, and 20. So you've got extra rewards. So if you just wanted to bet, you know, three or five or two, you can still do that. Um, and they've just given you more options to gamble it up right there, which I really like. It's, it's If you had a lot of tickets and you really didn't want to play a whole bunch, but you wanted to get those returns really quickly, well, then that's a good way to do it. So perhaps my favorite feature of the nice quality of life additions is if you look at the bottom left hand of your screen right there, what do you see? That's right, I'm in a game room, my boxes are there, I can open up my boxes straight from the game room. That is awesome. I hate it when people are like, hey, I gotta open a box, I'm gonna have to drop group so I can open that box, and then I'll come right back. It's just a hassle. Why not have them right there? They would, you know what, this is one cool thing, is that almost all of these quality of life additions have been suggestions on Reddit. So the Supercell team, the Brawl Stars team, absolutely listens to you all suggestions over on Reddit and everywhere else. So keep them coming because they really do add a lot. A few minds can't think of it all, but everybody together, we can come up with some really good ideas. And this is one of them that I'm sure you guys have all suggested. And it's really awesome to see that be implemented. All right. So while we're here in the game room, let's talk about this real quick. And that is now when you leave your party, let's say you're you're in your party and you decide you don't want to play anymore. As it is right now, you leave, the whole room gets disbanded. That's no longer going to be the case. When you leave, somebody else gets promoted to leader and the game room still is there. So that's a really nice feature that um, it's a small thing, but it's a nice addition that, you know, if the game room's not just going to dissolve when you leave. All right, now onto the UI changes. We have a new health and ammo bar style. Now, I was playing this and I was looking at it. And I'm like, you know what? I don't see a ton of difference. So let's go back and forth here side by side from the normal build to the dev build. And let's see if we can notice a difference. Um, it's say here that, let me read this again real quick. The new health and ammo bar style. Hit indicator added to the super button. When your super is... When your super is full, the button will flash and play a sound when you land an attack. The joystick size is now properly scaled to match the physical size of the device. Um, so those are the three that, that you'll be seeing in games. So let's go ahead and hop into a match here real quick. Uh, let's go with something temple. That's fine. Whatever. So for the UI, so for the UI changes, we have a new health and ammo bar style. If you look at the health and ammo bar, it looks different. The ammo is now on the bottom instead of the top, and the health there it doesn't cover up the entire part of your health bar. It looks a little different. It's just a small change, but I like it. I think it looks nice. Now there's a hit indicator added to the super button. When you when your super button is full, it will flash and play a sound when you land an attack. So watch when I land attacks here. You see it flash. You see it flashes and moves up. It's a very again a small change, but it's still kind of cool. And look at here, guys. I don't know if this is making it into the final build or not, but I just noticed this is Temple Room's bounty. Guess what? They have walls open up on the side. That means that uh, Mortis Double Lopper Strat, 
Bye bye hopefully this makes it to the live build. This is all subject to change, guys. Another little small quality of life feature is that they have now reintroduced the sort. So whenever you see your profile, it's going to be sorted by your brawlers with the best trophies. As you can see, I got 12,628 trophies here with Crow. Pretty standard. But it's going to be sorted by your best brawler all the way down to your worst. So Crow's my best and Ricochet down here with 1,500 trophies is my worst. You know, that's, I got 56,000 trophies. Get on my level, guys. <laughs> Dev build. Trophies don't matter. So one other cool thing here is that on the end screen, whenever it shows whether you won or lost, it shows the power of your brawler. It's also now going to show how many trophies each brawler had. So that would be pretty cool. It'll be nice to see what you're stacked up against. And let's be honest, it's going to give me my excuse to be like, yeah, I know we lost, but that dude has like 400 more trophies than me. So it's, you know, it's not my fault. It's not my fault that I suck so bad there. So I just got outplayed. <laughs> But that is a pretty cool, neat addition, and I know people have been wanting to see that, and uh, we'll see how that plays out. I know this is a beta, and there's lots of mismatch sometimes, so that's going to be a point of frustration, I imagine, but I still like the addition. I think it's really cool that it's going to be added. All right, real quick, let's go over the bug fixes. We're not going to mention them all because, uh, you know, they're not quite as fun, but uh, there was uh, quite a few uh, glitches here with Daryl. You guys have probably seen him where he gets stuck in the water, stuck in walls, um, or he doesn't get destroyed after, you know, scoring a goal and, and brawl ball and everybody spawns in weird spots those are all fixed also one of the funnest one of the fun little glitches that we've seen there is that whenever Shelly hits somebody or dynamite you know whenever they use their super right whenever somebody else is using their super they get launched into the screen and go flying that's no longer going to be the case that is going to be fixed on the bright side at least i caught it on video before it ever got fixed so let's uh let's relive that for just a moment i believe i can fly i believe Oh my gosh, what happened there? Holy crap! And the other bug fix that I'm actually going to note is that um, whenever you're in friendly battles and you can't swap somebody when they're ready, if you swap them, it'll go back to not ready, so no more duplicate brawlers. All right. Let's move on to the balance changes. The balance changes and new star powers. Let's go over these decently quickly. Let's start off with our Luchador El Primo. His base health has been increased by 200 and his star power burn duration is reduced from five seconds to four seconds. However, the total damage increase is from 400 to 600. So overall, we've got a buff to El Primo, 200 health and a little bit more damage on the super even though, or his star power, even though it doesn't last as long. Pretty cool. El Primo has been kind of one of those that's like he's really good on some and not so great on the other, so I, I like it. Bull here is getting a pretty substantial buff. Um, his base health is, reduced, is increased by 200. That's good. His main attack damage is increased from 400 to 440. Also pretty good. Star power now is the, where the big one. Before his Berserker power, it only activated from 30% health down, which made it kind of like, ah, uh, you know, it's really good. It's a strong star power, except when you're in that range where it's going to get used, you will die pretty quickly, so you really won't get much use from it. Now his star power is going to trigger at 50% health, so that's going to make Bull really strong in that when he's got half health and down. That's going to be crazy. Bo is getting a slight buff as well. His star power vision is increased from 5 to 6 tiles, so he can see even further into those bushes now. That's pretty cool. He's really the hunter, and this is going to make him feel that way. Brock also, his star power was pretty underwhelming. Um, I covered a lot of these in my uh, best and worst star power videos. Um, and Brock was one of them, so was Bull, and so was Poco, and more on that here in a second. But Brock's star power, his damage is increased from 160 to 240 per second. So whenever it, his rockets hit, it lit the ground on fire, and if somebody was in there, it did 160 damage, which was kind of like, meh. You know, whatever, it's really not that much. Now that it's been increased to 240 damage per second, that makes it quite a bit better. Uh, it's still not amazing, but it's definitely puts it into where it's not like one of the worst anymore. So that's cool. All right, so now to our man Crow. Here comes the Crow nerf. He wasn't as bad as we thought it might be. Only uh, nerfed in a couple spots. First of all, um, his Crow super now charges slightly slower. He, now that he needs to hit six daggers plus the poison to engage that super. Where before it used to be just five plus the, the uh, poison to engage the, his super, his jump. So that's a little bit of a nurse to how quick he can charge that uh, super, which is a good, because man, you, you see him jump in, hit a few people, jump over again. It was kind of crazy. So he definitely needed a nerf there. And that's a good one. And now here's one that I had been calling for. And I've seen quite a few people else have the same uh, idea here is that 
Crow's poison duration from his main attack and his super is reduced from 5 seconds to 4 seconds. Damage remains the same, so each tick is going to be hit you a little bit harder, but it's only going to last for 4 seconds and not for 5. That's going to allow you to heal, start healing up a little bit quicker. Now, also noted in the balance changes here in the patch notes is that a new star power effect has been added. Let me show you what that looks like real quick. So before, whenever he used his super or you used his uh, shots, you didn't really know. It just still had the same poison. Now look at it. You can see he's got that. Uh, oh, well, he died too quick. You see how Primo's got the little down arrows, right? That means he's being debuffed by my poisons, right? That's that's the new effect right there it is. You can just see it. Just the little arrows down saying, yep, they're doing less damage now. So that's the new effect of his star power, or at least the new visual effect. Moving along to Colt. Colt also absolutely needed a nerf because he was just been really, really strong. Probably the best brawler in the game for quite some time, in my opinion. So here's the nerf to Colt. Increased his reload time from 1.25 seconds to 1.5 seconds. Now, note that the reload time starts after all the bullets are fired, so the increase in total time is much less impactful than those numbers would suggest. I definitely noticed a difference while I was playing Colt. You could definitely tell that his reload time is slower now, but I think that's a very needed change and I'm glad to see that put in. So next up is Mortis. Mortis' star power, Creepy Harvest, has been reduced from 1200 hit points per soul to 1000. So Mortis has uh, got a slight nerf to his star power, not too much, but a couple hundred hit points off of that star power. All right, so we've got a buff for Nita. First of all, her base health is going to be increased by 200. And also, her star power uh, healing effect is going to be increased from 180 to 200. So, she's getting a little bit extra health, and her star power is going to be a little bit more effective. So, those are some good changes, and I'm glad to see Nita get those. All right, next up we got Pam. Now, Pam's healing station heal effect has been reduced from 400 to 360. So, Pam gets a little bit of a nerf. Not tremendous, but it is taking that healing turret down a little bit from what it was. Because, let's face it, Pam right now, with her star power and her healing turret in effect, it's pretty much like she has infinite health. It's so hard to kill her. And it should be, but maybe not so close to near impossible. So, Pam is getting a little bit of a nerf. All right, Daryl here is getting a buff. First off, his base health is increased by 200. Here's the one that I'm more excited about, is that Daryl's main attack shots are fired a bit closer together. That's going to make his damage more predictable. Let's hop into a map real quick here, and um, this is Showdown. Let's play Daryl, and let's look at his damage now um, against these boxes, because as before, the, the damage was really bizarre. It didn't affect quite right. So let's go over here and let's shoot this box. Let's get those bones out of the way first and let's see how this comes. If I'm pointing right at it, dead point blank range pretty much, it's going to be 1296 and 864, right? So before, 1296, 1296. Before, you'd only get half that damage. You'd have to like shoot off to the side to really get the full damage. Now, if you shoot off to the side, you're not getting the full damage. It's not going to give you it like it should. So... I like this change a lot. It rewards you for being more accurate. It doesn't, you don't have to, you know, go some crazy lengths to shoot off to the side or strafe right when you shoot. All right. While we're talking about Daryl, let me run off here to the side and that his star power damage uh, reduction is increased from 70 to 80%. So now he's going to take even less damage if you have a star power when he's doing his barrel roll. Secondly, is that the, the super is going to roll slower. Before it was 2800, now it's going to be 2400. So let's just give this a test. Let's throw our super there. As you can see, that's absolutely slower. You can really tell a difference. So he's going to be rolled slower. However, he's going to take less damage while he's in that, if you have your star power. Now there's a couple of bug fixes. Again, basically make it to where Daryl can get stuck inside water and walls and that sort of stuff. Um, as well as his aiming line. Sometimes it wasn't completely accurate. So, um, you know, there's been some fixes there as well. All right, next up, Poco. Poco has a new star power. I'm so glad about this because I mentioned him in my best and worst star power video. And I, so Poco's star power, it used to be whenever you died, it emanated a thousand healing from around you, which was really cool as a nice heal. However, you had to die to use it. Nobody wants to die. That's not fun. All right, so now Barley's star power is Decapo, and it's when power cords hit friendly brawlers, they now heal for 200 health. That means whenever you attack your normal attack, um, it's going to heal your friends for 200 per heal. I don't know, does it heal yourself? Let's find out real quick and let's see this in action because I do love this change. We're going to get a hit real quick here, right here. All right, so it's not healing myself. No, it doesn't heal myself. But as you can see right there, Dynamite, we gave him 200 health. Let's take a little bit more damage here. Uh, there we go. Look at Dynamite, get you some health. Come on, go over here, buddy. There we go. Look at that, 200 health. 
So now you can actually get both your, your brawlers to there, and you can stack up, was it, uh, four, 800, 1200 health just with your main three shots if you wanted to use them on your own your own teammates, which is really cool. Love this addition. I think it's much better than having to die to use your star power, so well done. Okay, so moving on here is Spike. Now, Spike's star power healing has been reduced from 600 per second to 500 per second. That's a nice addition because Spike has been really, really strong and his ability to heal himself up, while very cool and useful and should be there, it was a little bit strong at 600 per second, so they took it down just a tiny bit and put it down to 500 per second. All right, so for Terra, she's getting a little bit of a buff. Her star power companion, the little alien that she spawns, a shadowy version of herself, her health has been increased from 1600 health on that uh, companion to 2000. So it's a little bit of a buff to her star power. Now, bug fix is that her star power's companion no longer scales with showdown power-ups or when Terra is in a boss fight. So you may be able to use that uh, companion there in the boss fights. So you'll be able to. However, it's not going to get the ridiculous amount of scaling that you get from boss fight and showdown. And last, but certainly not least, here is Ricochet. Ricochet has a new star power effect. I'm going to show you that for you here in just a second. However, his star power has been nerfed a tiny bit. His star power damage is reduced from 100 to 80. So it doesn't do 100 extra damage now, it does 80. So let's see what that looks like, that little star power effect. Let's pull up Ricochet here. Um, let's just hop into something with some wall. Well, you know, this is fine, whatever. Let's go out here. Let's take a look at it real quick. Before it just kind of turned white and that was it. Um, let's go over here and shoot off the walls. As you can see, it's got that little, uh, looks almost like the coin boosters. You know how they got that little, uh, stuff behind it, like the trailing edge, like a comet. That's what it looks like now. That's pretty cool. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this update, for these balance changes, nice little quality of life features. You guys let me know in the comment down below, what do you like the most? What do you like the least? Tell me what you think of this little mini update. I think it's pretty cool. They've given us a lot of cool little features. They did take some stuff away, and that's a bummer. However, I think that what they took away can be easily compensated in for some other areas. Overall, I'm very happy with it. I love how responsive uh, the Brawl Stars team has been to getting us these changes and adding more stuff that we really need, and even stuff that we don't really need, stuff that's just really good for the game. And I, I really appreciate that. So you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, until next time. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Lex out.